Hi everyone, my name is Ammar Hassayan and today I'm so excited to share with you some tips to have your perfect LinkedIn profile and perhaps increase your chances of being noticed or even better, hired. Now, as most of you are already in LinkedIn, I want you to become exceptional because you are. And for that, I'm going to go through some facts and numbers to get you excited and warm up. We'll do some preparation work next and then I will walk you through my 10 tips to have the perfect LinkedIn profile. You will also get some bonus content at the end of this video and guidance on what to do next. And finally, if you stick around long enough, you will get to see two cool demos for creating the best profile and background pictures on LinkedIn. Now, I know, if you don't have LinkedIn profile today, please go and create one right now. If you have one, then the question is, are you missing something today? Now, unfortunately, most people barely use LinkedIn or they don't know how to unleash the absolute potential of LinkedIn. Let me explain. We are living in a world where online reputation is driving the next wave of skills outsourcing. And 68% of recruiters check search engines today to find more about potential employees. Now, this means that your chances of landing your dream job might depend on your online presence, especially if the other guys you are competing with are doing great job in marketing themselves and growing their network. Have you ever asked yourself who's on LinkedIn today? Well, LinkedIn has over 656 million users and 57 million companies. So basically, most professionals and company that you want to work with are already there. Three people get hired every minute on LinkedIn and this is my favorite, people with optimized LinkedIn profile have 70% higher chances of landing a job interview. Now, LinkedIn is not only used for landing your next dream job. It is more than that. It's a marketing tool to grow your brand and attract people to connect and perhaps do business with you someday. Every time a recruiter contacts you, you can be sure that they are looking at your profile just right now. Your LinkedIn profile will act as a validator in that you are a real person and not someone whose CV or resume is too good to be true. Now, not convinced yet? Well, LinkedIn is free and it's a great way to network. Think about LinkedIn as your next generation of virtual contact cards. While it's easy to lose a business card, a connection on LinkedIn will always be there. Now remember this and I will say it loud and clear. If there is one thing you want to take from this video is that optimizing your LinkedIn profile is never a one-time job. You always need to engage with existing connections, perhaps post in new things or grow your network. There is something for everyone in LinkedIn. If you are a job seeker, this can be landing your next job. Of course, for recruiters, they use it to find candidates to hire. It is the la la land for job seekers and hunters in one place. Now, if you are already working and perhaps happy with your job, you still can use LinkedIn. It's a great chance to grow your network, uh, find the right partner to help you grow your business or perhaps get help on business problems. For sales, this is your backyard. You can use it to find leads and learn more about your prospects. I use it a lot actually at my work every day. Other people might use it to learn new skills, endorsement, and it's a great opportunity to connect with your school alumni and catch up with them. Now, let me introduce you to my five steps for you to get the best out of LinkedIn in your professional life. First, start today by optimizing your profile. This is what I'm going to help you to do in this video. Next, grow your network after you optimize your profile by trying to get high quality connections, same industry, same people in the same field. Start with your work and school circles. Third is to actively engage. This is not a one-time job. Uh, try to like, comment, post, or write original LinkedIn articles. The objective here is to show your authority about a topic or the industry that you are in. And finally, you can go beyond by accessing premium feature in LinkedIn, like uh, LinkedIn Premium, Sales Navigator, and LinkedIn Learning. Let's first do five things before we start optimizing your profile. Change alerting setting, playing with privacy settings, making your profile public, creating a custom public URL, your address, and updating your contact information. Let's get started. As we are going to change a lot of things at this phase, you don't want the whole world to get notified whenever you change something. 
So change alert setting by going to settings, visibility, visibility of your LinkedIn activity, and then turn off share profile updates with your network. Next is playing with your privacy settings. The goal is to influence recruiters whenever you apply for a job and click that apply button. You want LinkedIn to share your LinkedIn profile with the recruiter even if you still need to fill a form. To do that, go to settings, data privacy, job seeking preferences, and turn on sharing your public profile when you click apply and signal your interest to recruiters at companies you've created job alerts for. Next is to set visibility to public. It's time to make the whole world know you exist and have your profile searchable and get noticed. To do that, go to settings, visibility, visibility of your profile and network, and then check public. As an extra tip, I highly recommend that you verify your mobile number in LinkedIn. This doesn't mean you are publishing your mobile number to everyone, but verifying that LinkedIn will rank your profile better as a verified profile. LinkedIn now will generate a public URL or internet address for your public profile. What you need to do is to make it easy for people to reach you. Think of this as your home address. It should be easy to remember and elegant. The recommendation is to just type your first name and last name as you can see in this example. To reach me in LinkedIn, you can type www.linkedin.com n dash Ammar Hassayan. And please remember to add your LinkedIn public address to your CV so recruiters can see your updated profile always and know more about you. It's your time to shine by giving recruiters more information about you beyond the CV. Now go back and click contact info link and fill things like your email, social media links, and perhaps your mobile number if you feel comfortable sharing it to everyone. Now this is the time when your mobile number will get published to everyone. We have completed the basic things, now it's time to optimize your profile. I will start with the most important things and on the top of my list is your profile picture. Now listen carefully, this is a big thing. Do you know that researchers found out using heat maps that the first thing people look at is your profile picture? Now knowing that, it's a great chance for you to create the best first impression, so make sure to work on this first. High resolution is absolute must. Make sure your picture is 400 by 400 pixels. Don't be shy to ask for help from your friends. Second, please don't use a group photo and make sure you are the only one in the picture. Now, we all love partying at night, playing at sport events, or even enjoying nice vacations. Those are not pictures you put at your profile picture. Now, this one is awkward. Please don't use your passport or ID photo for LinkedIn picture. The resolution is not right and most likely your photo is 10 years old at least. Next, no selfie policy. You heard me right. No selfies, please. This is not Instagram. This is not Facebook. Mm, what else? Yes. This is my favorite, don't stand far away from the camera. Now the best practice is, is that your face should take around 60% of the frame. Now what to wear in the profile picture? It is good to wear what you'd wear at work. Use your own judgment here please and yes, that's Tom Cruise and he's wearing suit to work. It's time to have some fun and this is an interactive way to teach you how to use the profile picture. Now what's wrong with those profile pictures? Well. Here we have the face taking up most of the picture, which is awkward. Let's try again. What's wrong here? Those pictures are either cropped pictures or photos on night out. Not professional. Don't use them in LinkedIn. More fun? Okay, here's Tom Cruise in a night out and his picture is cropped. Next, we have a very common profile picture in LinkedIn where you are not the only one and you crop the picture. What about this one? Think about it, if Tom Cruise loved to fly jets as we know, then it's also not the best one to use in a profile picture in LinkedIn. The idea here is don't use your sport or things you love as a hobbies to way to promote your profile pictures in LinkedIn. Now these one are good professional photos of Tom Cruise. He's wearing a suit, he's looking professional, he's taking 60% of the frame, although I would drop the sunglasses in the left picture. Now these are good examples, they are professional, not cropped, face not far away from the camera, and lightning is great. 
I would go for a simple background and not noisy one always. Now my advice to you for the profile picture and this is a big one. Stop looking on your phone for nice pictures. And if you are going to be serious about your LinkedIn profile and your career, go to a professional photographer and take one. This is what I do always. Now there are many online tools on the internet to help you edit pictures once they are taken in a professional way. And this is a simple tool. More about this at the end of the video. Number two is your background image in LinkedIn. Now listen carefully. LinkedIn background image is all about showing your personality and your brand. That's it. It tells unspoken words about who you are and it is seen in the first couple of seconds. Saying that, it depends on you how to utilize this feature. You can simply show some personality, uh, you can promote your mission or a recent book you've authored, like I did once. There are many specifications about how big and the dimension of that background LinkedIn image. So you can use tools like this one to help you get free and customizable LinkedIn background images. More about this at the end of the video. Now the third tip is very important. It's about improving your headline. Now this is a big thing. You might be tempted to simply write your job role and position and call it a day as you've seen in this slide. Tom Cruise is a regional channel sales lead. That's it. Now my advice to you is to ask yourself, how do you want to sell yourself? How do you want to promote yourself? And tailor your headline to your audience, please. This is very important. Now remember, your headline is used by recruiters when searching about you. They use keywords in your headline. It's used to sell yourself, your value, and your services once people are in your profile. They saw your picture, next thing, they will see your headline. Now it's okay to get creative. People usually include their mission, their industry or skills. Now the key thing to remember is to use good keywords to get better chances of being discovered by recruiters. For example, if you want to land a job as a cloud architect, make sure to use the word architect in your headline. I will share with you simple formula to create a good headline. This is just a sample. You can start with your title and company. What do you do in your company? and optionally the industry you are working in and key skills. From the headline of John Smith, we learn a couple of things. We know that he works in sales in a company called Maverick and his role is to sell cloud solution and accelerate innovation. He's also specialized in telco and retail. Now this is a perfect information to tell anyone who's landed on your LinkedIn profile. Many people use the headlines and fill it with a lot of words. Remember, sometimes less is more. You don't need to put your entire life story in your headline. Be creative. Simplicity is key sometimes, as you see in this slide. Sometimes numbers speak by themselves if you use them efficiently. This is handy usually in sales to show your numbers. If LinkedIn is giving us anything valuable, it will be the summary section. Why is that? It is an incredible chance to introduce yourself in your own words. Just for example, look at Mrs. Thompson in the slide, pause the video, read how she described herself. You no longer have to let your latest work role to speak about you. A LinkedIn summary allows you to give a personal first impression. You get to show your personality. You can add a little flair and humor or keep it super professional. Either way, your LinkedIn summary will give recruiters and other users a taste of what they can expect if they reach out to you. It can also help recruiters judge if you are a cultural fit and help prospects and potential clients to get sense of whether they'd like to work with you. Now in the other side, in the back end, LinkedIn use your summary section in its algorithm as well as your LinkedIn headline, current title and other factors. So make sure you include a keyword rich LinkedIn summary. You can become more visible to potential prospects and recruiters in search results if you use a wise keywords. Now let's get creative. I love this summary from Fernando shown in the screen. Why? Because he did a great job in showing the real person behind his profile and emotionally connected to the reader. Please avoid using abstract things like problem solvers, work under pressure and team leader, those mean nothing. 
in your LinkedIn summary. Don't be shy from talking about who you are outside work. Let me introduce you Mrs. Smith, an executive assistant, and notice the highlighted text in red. I encourage you to search her in LinkedIn and see her actual profile today. I will read some highlights. For example, she's saying about herself, if you want to get something done, you come to me. Everyone knows that. And she said, luckily, I'm obsessed with staying organized and making everyone's life easier. When I'm not at work or in denial about having a social life, I am at home mothering my favorite little five-year-old son. At the core, I'm just a mom, and that's all it really comes down to. And she ended, feel free to reach out if you ever need any emotional support, career guidance, or advice on those tricky horses. Now, let me ask you something. If you are recruiting for an executive assistant, would you hire her? For me, I would definitely call her for an interview. You can use samples to make your LinkedIn profile stand out. Use this link to find many of those samples. Here is an example of how you can use samples to separate sections in your headlines. Now let me share with you a summary section example that I wrote recently. I have separate sections highlighted in caps and with samples. For example, I have what do I do where I describe my mission and my experience, then how I do it section, then my professional skills, and finally what to do next. It's a call for action for people to reach out and connect to me. Tip number five, your experience section. And guys, after this video, I want you to go and change your experience section in your LinkedIn profile. It's very important. Let's see how Tom Cruise is using the experience section. First, notice that he's adding all his titles while working at Maverick Technologies to show his promotion history. Recruiters love to see your promotion history and work progress. Now for each role, Tom is adding result-driven achievement statements using the action verb, as we will see next. And for each role, LinkedIn allows you to add a relevant skills for each role under the skills section. For example, we can see from this slide that Tom has been working for Maverick Technologies for seven years, and he was promoted after three years to regional channel sales manager in his new role. Tom acquired new skills such as sales, business strategy, and SaaS solutions, opposed to his previous role, where he was focused on SAP and ERP solutions. He is an achiever, as we can see from his 40% year-over-year sales growth. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a good way to show your work experience. Now, the key thing here is to focus on your achievement, not your duties. For each role, add an achievement-driven sentence for that role with an action verb. For example, a targeted email marketing campaign that resulted in a 15% upswing in newsletter registration. So start with an action verb like driving, initiating, selling, increasing. Make them result-driven. People want to see what you have accomplished in each role with numbers and results. So give them exactly that. Number six is the most underestimated section, your education. Start by adding your higher education first and make it more visible. Second, show the skills you've learned and how this helps you at work. Tom Cruise here graduated from Harvard and he wrote that while in Harvard, the case method that Harvard is famous of help him solve complex problems at work. Now for you, if you took an executive education, write down what skills you've learned, but most importantly, how those skills makes you better leader or become more efficient at work. Third, take some time and reconnect with graduates from your school and university to grow your network. Tip number seven, the featured section. Now let's get things straight. The feature section allows you to showcase sample of your work to people who view your LinkedIn profile. This is a great way to provide evidence of your skills and experience. Here is an example of how you can make this section stand out with the right sized images and good titles. Tip number eight, endorsements. This is important because according to LinkedIn, people who list at least five skills receive up to 17 more profile views. Always remember, if you want to get endorsements and recommendations, start by giving them to others. Tip number nine, get recent recommendations. Recent recommendation, not only recommendations. 
Recommendations enhance credibility. Make sure to get relevant recommendations. Not only recent recommendations, but relevant recommendations. What I mean by that? If you are a salesperson, make sure you get recommendations that highlights your selling skills, not anything else. For example, this is not a good recommendation for Johnny Depp. After all, no one will hire Johnny Depp as a seller if he's just a funny guy, which he is. This one, however, is a perfect one because it highlights how superior you are as a seller, which is exactly what recruiters are looking for. Now today, reach out to people and ask them exactly what type of skills you want them to highlight and think of how you want to sell yourself as a funny person or as a superior salesman in this case. Tip number 10, your interest section. Now think about this. When you enter in another person's office for the first time, the first thing you do is to look around. You look for trophies, pictures, or any other object that tell you something about his or her personality. As soon as you catch hold of any commonality, you have a conversation started right there. Tom Cruise loves football and he follows Real Madrid club. It adds a personal touch and an opportunity to connect on a different level. So far, I've listed my top tips of how to optimize your profiles, but there is much more. I will leave you with this bonus content to watch at your own pace. I will show you how to create your perfect profile picture. First of all, I went to a professional photographer and I get this photo. Next, I will use my Mac editing tool to crop the image to square and make sure my face consumes 60% of the picture and is perfectly in the middle. I will save the photo. I will then go to this URL and upload my picture and I will have a ready templates for my picture to use as my LinkedIn profile picture with a variety of backgrounds. Now what I can do here is I can pick one of those and then view it. It will give me how it looks like and it will even recommend for me a matching background LinkedIn images which I can download. As you can see, I'm checking another template and I can see it matched my profile picture background with some templates of LinkedIn background images. So I can use both the profile picture and the match theme LinkedIn background image all in one shot. So I highly recommend that you play with this tool, change some settings backgrounds. The tool is very smart. I highly recommend that you have transparent picture at first so that you can play with the background images. Uh, and this tool is a very perfect place to start playing with.
In this demo, I'm going to show you how to pick the right LinkedIn background image. Now remember, your LinkedIn background photo appears behind your profile photo in the introduction section in your profile. It has an exact dimension and it's hard to obtain an image with this exact dimension. So you need a tool with templates that are customizable. So go to this URL. You can find a lot of templates here that you can use right away. I highly recommend that you start with a template instead of starting from blank and here I'm going to start with a blank template and I can search any of those cool LinkedIn background images. Remember the whole thing is all about choosing something that reflects your personality, your brand. There is nothing right and wrong here or you can search for templates. For this example, I will pick something that is more professional. I can choose to write something about the brand or the things that I'm selling. You can download a very high resolution image. Just click download and it will take some time to render and here you go.